There's a really cool trick for helping to soften and knock out wrinkles in a an elderly person, such as this photo. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a new layer by hitting the new layer icon. Then we're going to grab, you can really grab either the clone stamp tool. I prefer the healing brush tool. It's kind of like the clone stamp tool, but with some extra healing power. And then what we're gonna do is make the brush a bit larger here. And we're gonna begin Alt or Option clicking and just selecting areas of kind of cleaner skin and just painting over her wrinkles. We can go over and do a really rough job. You can actually make the brush nice and soft or you can kind of even keep it hard. Um, we're gonna go here and hit this wrinkle here by the edge of her mouth, right? Just go ahead and knock stuff out. Don't worry if it doesn't look crazy realistic now. We're gonna, we're gonna help that uh, in just a second. All right, now that we've gone over her skin like that, well, you can see if we shut it off, there's what she looked like before, that's what she looks like now, and you might say, well, that looks atrocious, and it does. What we do is we blend this to the layer beneath by reducing the opacity a bit, maybe knock it down to about 50%, something like that. And you say, well, hey, it brought over wrinkles back, but here's before, and here's after. So we're not necessarily looking to get rid of all the wrinkles, that doesn't look realistic at all. We just simply look to lessen the wrinkles, maybe make them not quite so deep. That just took 10 or 15 years uh, off of her age. So you can see there's before, there's after, and that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.